Hi guys, this is the Cuisinart 2-in-1 coffee maker. You can make 12 cups of coffee on this side or a single cup on this side. The unit measures 14 and a half inches tall. With the pod side open, the height is 18 and a half inches. So it's not going to open under your cabinet, so you'll have to pull it out. 10.7 inches wide and 11 inches deep. It weighs about 11 pounds. The cord length is 28 inches. Included is a 12 cup glass carafe with the lid and markings. Gold tone permanent filter, four number four paper filters, two charcoal water filters, one for the pod side and one for the carafe side. Reusable filter cup to brew a single cup using ground coffee, a coffee scoop, instruction manual, and initial setup instructions. 42 ounce removable water reservoir, there's a max fill line and a minimum fill line. The shelf flips down for short mugs. And if you remove the drip tray, you'll have about seven and a quarter inches of clearance. So I can fit my old Zojirushi travel mug. The control panel is neatly laid out for the pod side and the carafe side. To change the time, press the hour or the minute button down until it flashes. and then adjust the time using the hour and minute buttons. And if you want PM, you have to wait for PM to be displayed. You can also use these buttons for auto on and off. You can program the unit to brew at a later time. Use the knob and go to program, set the brew time. let's say 7 a.m. Turn the knob to auto on. Press the brew button and the auto on light will be illuminated. Don't forget to put coffee in the filter and water in the reservoir. Press bowl to get a stronger cup of coffee. The coffee will take longer to brew, giving you a stronger cup. This is only for the carafe side. The temperature of the plate that the carafe sits on is adjustable. Press the carafe temp button. It'll go from high to low or medium. This is the carafe button, obviously to use when you're brewing on the carafe side. The function knob, you can select brew, program, auto on, which starts brewing the program time, and auto off. To shut off, keep warm mode up to four hours after brewing. The default time is two hours. The brew off button turns the coffee maker on and off. The pod button you press to choose the size of the single syrup. Four, six, eight, 10, or 12 ounces. The over ice button will brew stronger coffee, so it'll taste good over ice. Clean indicates the time to clean the unit to remove buildup. It is recommended to descale the unit every three to six months. The backlit display will show the brew size when you're using the pot side. Add water indicator which will come on when there's less than 10 and a half ounces and also the heat of the warming plate. If you are using the included charcoal filters, soak them in cold water for 15 minutes. Remove the water filter holders from the single serve side and the 12 cup side. Put the filter into the holder and snap to close. Run this underwater for 10 seconds and drain, and slide the filter holders back. It is recommended to change the filter every 60 days or after 60 uses. I'm using filtered water, so I won't be using these filters. When you first get the unit, run a one-time cleaning. Put the filter in if you're using it, fill the water reservoir, plug it in, lift up and close the brew head. Don't put a pot in here, we just want water. Put a mug on the drip tray, press the pod button, and choose 10 ounces. Press the brew button, Discard as water. For the 12 cup side, fill the water reservoir. Fill the water up to the max fill line. Put the carafe on the plate. Turn the knob to brew. Choose carafe and press the brew button. Total seven minutes and 45 seconds. Beep. 
You'll hear the five beeps whenever the carafe side is finished brewing. I really don't want to waste this water, so I'll wait for it to cool down and water my indoor plants. Now we're ready to make coffee. To brew on the 12 cup side, put the carafe on the plate. Make sure the basket's in properly. If you're using the permanent filter, the black plastic is facing you. Not this way, it's this way. And it'll go all the way down. Of course, you can use a number four paper filter instead. Make sure not to use the gold tone filter and a paper filter, just use one or the other. It's one tablespoon of ground coffee per cup. That's a level scoop. Even if you like really strong coffee, don't put more than 15 tablespoons of coffee in the filter. It might overflow. And don't use very finely ground coffee. A medium fine grind is best. I'll brew six cups, so I'm using six scoops of ground coffee. I've poured six cups of water into the reservoir to make the six cups of coffee. Turn the knob to brew. You can press the bowl button if you want. Press carafe. And then brew off. Took five minutes to brew the six cups of coffee. If you want to buy this Cuisinart, click on the link below this video. We're just going to measure the temperature of the coffee. Ah. It's 187 degrees Fahrenheit. In comparison, if you're brewing in a Keurig, it's going to be about 185 degrees. So they're almost the same. There's no dripping from the spout as you pour it. It's a hot, good cup of coffee. While it's brewing, you can remove the carafe to pour a cup of coffee. Just make sure you put it back within 30 seconds though, or it could overflow. The coffee will stop flowing when you remove the carafe. You can cancel brewing at any time by pressing the brew off button. If you want the coffee over ice, fill the carafe with ice and press the over ice button. You can't use bold or carafe temp when using the over ice mode. Press the brew off button unless you want to keep the coffee hot on the plate. Wait a few minutes after your coffee is done brewing. Open the cover. It's very hot. The coffee grounds are great for your compost pile. Now I'll show you how to brew a single cup. Remove the drip tray and put a travel mug here. If you're using a cup, I put it up here and not on the drip tray because the coffee might splatter. Lift up the brew head. There's a sharp needle on top and one down here, so do be careful. If you're using a coffee pod, the pod holder should be in here. It has an arrow that matches with the arrow over here. And you just press it down. Put your pod in. I've already filled the reservoir. Close the brew head. Press the pod button and press it again to choose the size. Eight ounce is the default, and that's what I'm gonna brew. And press the brew off button. That took one minute and 20 seconds. The temperature is 176. My cup was cold, so that could affect the temperature a little bit. Good strong cup of coffee. Lift the handle and remove the pod. To use the reusable filter for the pod side, remove the pod holder. Fill the filter basket with ground coffee. This holds 15 grams or two and a half scoops. That's two and a half scoops. There's a little line here. I mean, there's no max fill line, but I wouldn't fill it above this little line. Just for comparison, I put the same amount of coffee, two and a half scoops in my Keurig reusable filter. And this is the amount that I usually use to make a cup of coffee in the Keurig. Put the reusable filter in. There's no locking, it just sits. There's an arrow here that matches with the white arrow here. Close the head. 
Don't forget your cup. Press pod. It's already eight ounces. Just press brew. That took a minute and 20 seconds. It's about 170, 171 degrees. Again, the cup was not warmed up. I just brewed an eight ounce cup of coffee in the Keurig using their reusable filter, and that's what's in the green cup. It measured the exact same temperature as the Cuisinart, 171 degrees. I don't notice any taste difference between the two cups. Of course, if you want a cup of iced coffee, you could put ice in your mug and press the over ice button. By the way, if you press the pod button, and the pod and over ice indicators flash, that means it's time to descale the unit with water and vinegar. Wait a few minutes after it's done brewing because this is very hot. Let's remove it. Take the filter out, discard or compost the coffee grounds, and wash everything out. The filter basket, permanent filter, pot holder, reusable filter, carafe and lid, are all top rack dishwasher safe. The drip tray and plate are also top rack dishwasher safe. If you need to remove the pod holder for cleaning, just push up from the bottom. Just remember to twist the bottom away from you and pull off for cleaning. If it's clogged, you can put a paper clip in this hole. Left to close and right to open. Put the pod holder back after cleaning. The heater plate and the rest of the unit can be wiped down with a damp cloth. The water reservoir can be washed when needed to avoid buildup. There's a handle so you can pull out the reservoir. Use a soft sponge and soap. Air dry it or use a lint-free cloth. Don't put a regular cloth inside the reservoir because lint could get in there. I didn't use the filter, but if you are using their filter, remember to remove it before cleaning the reservoir. To put the reservoir back, there is a tab here. So just press this and slide it down. If you want to buy this Cuisinart, click on the link below this video. I hope you got all the information you need about this two-in-one unit. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.